Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our June 2018 BMW 430i M Sport with the Steptronic gearbox. That's the eight speed sports transmission with paddle shift. The car's finished in Alpine white, which is a solid color. And uh, the car's covered uh, 18,000 miles I think it's 18,594 to be precise, with full service history. And we took this car in part exchange recently. Gentleman bought another coupe, but uh, went up a few years to a, a 440, so a slightly bigger engine. And uh, we're happy to have it here and up for sale. So I'm gonna take you around the car. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a really Beautiful gloss on this bodywork. We have two people spending a whole day on a car, one focusing on the outside and the other focusing on the inside of the cars. Now the condition of this uh, car is really nice. I mean, if we go across the bonnet here, I'm just gonna look for any little stone chips, but I'll find one somewhere, I expect. We've got a tiny, oh, I don't even know if it's gonna show up. Where is it? Oh, it's so small, very tiny. There you go. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else on this bonnet at all. It's got a beautiful shine. Sorry, there we are, I'm in focus now. And it's come up with a really glossy finish. So the car's a rotary polished, and then we use an orbiting polishing motor, which sort of the, the base of the head moves around as it spins and it gives you a hologram free shine, which is really nice and glossy. And the whole car has had that treatment all over. If we come down into the front bumper, we've got front and rear parking sensors on the car, front fog lights as well. We've got these nice LED headlights. I'll just zoom in on those for you. Now you'll notice the lenses they're like new, these headlights. They're not all pitted or anything. In lovely condition. No damage on the fog lights or anything. There's no pitting on the front bumper. I'll bring you in close. Try and keep this in focus. All in lovely condition. No damage down at the bottom. Now we've kept the uh, the chrome and black grills in because I think it matches with everything else on the car. If you prefer the black gloss grills, that's an option that we can fit for you. But, uh, really beautiful condition. If I just come back out, this car has the 18 inch alloys on it, all of which are in really nice condition. There's no damage on the alloys. Let's bring you back out. If we look down the side of the car, always the best way to view the side. There's no ripples, it's not had any paint work. There we go, let's get it in focus. And then this front wheel here, the car's got Pirelli tyres on it. That's the front wheel. Let's bring you up and show you. Also, the windscreen's all in nice condition. And then the mirrors, there's no scuff marks on the mirrors. They're all in lovely condition. All the black gloss has been polished. We come up onto the roof. There's no chips up here, no scratches. All in lovely condition. We come down around the door handle on the driver's side. There's no scratches, there's no chipping on the door edge. And then the rear wheel, again, all immaculate, all up around the filler cap. No scratches at all, there's no ding dents on the car. And this car will run on the E10 fuel, the new fuel that you see at the pump stations now. We've got sun protection glass at the back as well, so that reflects the heat back out of the car. Got the LED lights at the rear, 
I'll just go over this uh, boot lid as well. Maybe if I come round. It's a little bit hard to video, but uh, there's no chips or no scratches. I come down and show you across the back here. And then the rear parking sensors and all down at the bottom here, the bottom valance. No damage or scratches. The tailpipes have come up really nice. All nice and shiny. And then again, if we look down the side of the car, no damage. All of the lights are machine polished, so they're all scratch free as well. Show you this rear wheel on the passenger side. And again, if we look at the door edge, there's no chipping, no scratches. Panels, beautifully true, not had any paint work. We'll just come up onto the roof again and show you this side. I know it's a little bit difficult to see on the video on a white car, but I'm looking also with my eyes to point out if there's anything, but there is nothing there, to be honest with you. And then the mirror on the passenger side, the near side. Got the black gloss air vents on the side as well. And there's the near side front wheel. And as I say, it's got Pirellis all round. Plenty of tread on there. So with the 18 inch wheels, you get a, a smoother ride. And obviously when you go to change your tires, they're uh, a lot more affordable than the, the 19s or the 20s. So keep a bit of cash in your pocket. But it looks really nice and clean and shiny. It's a really nice, genuine car, this. Let's just bring you around one more time so you can see. Lovely shape, the BMW Coupes. Four series. And then underneath the door handles, we've got the LED lights as well come on and then when we open up the door we've also got puddle lights just down at the bottom Let's try and get this so you can see them I think they've just gone out actually the car's just turned itself off and if we look around the door card always good to check the edges it's where the seat belts can damage them and then we've got the pearl chrome finisher along the top there and I think they call the handle finish, it's a, a carbon finish. It's like a, a metal with a pattern in it. There we go. We've got the black Dakota leather. If we come in and look around the door shuts, you can see just how clean this car is and scratch free. It's in beautiful condition, as I say. Go all the way around. No dig marks or anything. You've got the original mats in there, BMW mats. And then that uh, carbon and pearl crow finish have run across the top there. With the professional media, which will be touch screen, but we'll show you that when we come around the other side. And the 430 also gets electric seats. And then we've got the rocker button there. So the seats forwards, backwards, and then the back, and then the rocker switch just here will inflate the bolsters either side to grip you in the seat. You can pull this center piece uh, or this front piece forward for extra to support, Blah. extra support. <laughs> And uh, to move the seat forward, you can press this button here. It'll come forward and then lift up 
like so. And in the back, there's no impressions in the leather. Very clean and tidy in there. Just try and show you this door card. Well, it's not a door actually, because it's a coupe, but the trim and the seat comes down at the back. All the air vents are in nice condition, they haven't been damaged. And then the back of the seat as well, no scratches. Pop that back, and then we can move the seat back. One second, oh, the car's just turned itself off, I just remembered. Right, we'll come around the back. Show you down here actually the seal. See what you find sometimes people have gravel driveways, and the gravel sticks to your shoe. And as you get out, it wears all the paint on the edge. But this is all perfect, no scratches, nothing, very clean. So we'll open up the boot and flip it with the uh, key fob. And you can just see there's a handle at the top here which you can pull to release. It's a 60-40 split, so you can receive, uh, sorry, release one side or the other, so you can put things through from the boot into the back. All of the carpets, all nice and clean. Got the lock and wheel nuts and the tool kit there. And then underneath here, we've got a bit of extra storage and the first aid kit's been popped in there for now. In fact, we can take that out. That goes up in there. Store that up in there. We've got a bit of extra storage under there. And then you've got your triangle up at the top here. Just show you all around here. Just how clean this is. and the top of the back bumper. No marks or scratches. And the plastic trim also, no scuff marks. Okay, let's come round to the driver's side. Let me just flip those lights off or we'll put them on auto for a second. Let's have a look at this door. So again, we'll start with the edge. come all the way down and around. No damage on there. The door handle is all in a nice condition. The electric window switches and then the seal. Again, all nice and clean. Your tire pressure, badges, all intact. All lovely and clean here. And then we've got your auto lights there, front and rear fog lights. Just do the driver's seat. So we've got memory on the driver's side as well. Two memory positions. And if we have a look, bolsters. And then the base. And then the steering wheel, all the leather in really nice condition. It's not got any dig marks or scratches on it be surprised some people have their keys in their hands and they end up scratching all the leather on the steering wheel because it's a softer leather than on the seats generally slightly different leather let's get that in focus it just really looks good right, let's jump in just pull this door shut 
Okay, we'll start her up. Okay. There we go. So 18,594 miles. Now on this side of the steering wheel, we've got a mode button. And this is what they call the full black panel display. So you can go through your DAB channels. If you press the mode button again, you go into the FM, press it again, AM. Music collection is an 80 gig hard drive. You can store music inside the car. And then uh, at the bottom on the steering wheel, there's the phone button. When your phone's connected, it will show you the last dialed numbers and you can flick through those as well. Okay. And then if we come up onto the sat nav screen, you can, like I say, it's all touch screen. You press that one there get this in focus and then you can move what they call these tiles around and have them in any order you wish go on to the navigation but I use the iDrive wheel just to get my hand in fact there are some shortcuts down here so we can press like map to go straight into map and zoom in and out and then if we come over to the left Click it down up. The, all the sub menus there. Traffic information, additional information, um, interactive maps. You can move around the map. The map views we can change very easily on these. So it's currently in perspective. Now using these buttons, we can use them as shortcuts. You only have to run your finger lightly across the top and you can see what's already assigned in there. We've got some radio channels in there. So if we press number eight, we've just assigned perspective view on number eight. Oh, wrong one. Back down to here. And, uh, you know, when you're in the city and there's a lot of junctions and you're trying to work out, is it the second or third one? This view is a lot better to use. We can assign that to number seven. Then rather than look in the sub menus on the left, we can just press number eight now and it will change the view. You can also store your um, loved ones or friends uh, or work colleagues, telephone numbers in on those buttons and uh, a few other windows. There are some windows I don't think it saves for some reason, but uh, you can shortcut for most things. Okay, so if we go into navigation and address input, we can either use the voice input or with the iDrive wheel down here, we can write on the top of our finger to make sure this is nice and focus. And uh, P. If we're putting um, in postcodes. Three. And if you want to space one side to the other. Space. Five. R. Y. And if you're not left-handed, you'll soon learn how to be. <laughs> so, but you can see how easy that is to use. And then you can come over to the right and then go in for your street, etc. So let's come out of there. Just wanted to show you, if we go to menu, um, if we press menu twice, actually, it'll bring this window up so you can go straight in. So my vehicle, you've got all your settings for lights, in fact, if we go into lights on the interior, because they're bound to be in sport, they always are, we'll put it in classic. And what I just wanted to show you is put the lights on. Is there any lights under here? All the lights at the top will be in the orange. If I change that to sport, they change to white. And we'll just go back in and change it classic seems to be so we've got heated seats down here as well with dual climate control gloss black all around that panel if we just come back up onto the i drive we've got doors speed warnings or vehicle tracking and then i drive settings here you can change the units you can see on the right hand side there if we continue down we've got driver profiles so you can set 
each key, we've got two keys for the cars. Um, each key will remember your radio stations and all the settings for the seats, etc. Um, technology in action, uh, your efficiency. You can check that out. We'll come back to that in a bit. We go into vehicle status, tire pressures. You can measure the oil of the engine when the engine's warm and on a level base. Now, the service history is at the top here. So that's the PDI or pre-delivery check. The first service is usually oil and filter. They're every two years or 19,000 miles. And that's oil and microfilter, as you can see. That was carried out at 10,000 miles. So it was carried out early on the mileage, but pretty spot on on the two years. Next one would be a brake fluid change, usually. The first brake fluid change is three years. After that, it's every two years. Important to change your brake fluid because the brake fluid absorbs moisture and moisture when it's hot turns into a, a steam if you imagine that which is a gas and when you press the brakes a gas you can compress whereas a fluid you can't so that's why your brakes go spongy and soft when the brake fluid hasn't been changed so that's why you change it so that your brakes are nice and firm uh, and we've done another oil change so yeah, so it's coming up for two. We've done it a few months early, look. So the last one was at uh, in 2020. Two years on for that would be 2022 May, and we've done it January. So we've done another oil change there. Okay, so that's all up to scratch. And you'll see in here, you've now got 19,000 miles, or January 2024. Rear pads, 25,000 miles front pads 25,000 miles they've all been inspected the brake pads when they go around for a service uh, like I say it's had an MOT and we also plug all our cars in and uh, the BMW specialist and he checks that there's no fault codes he reads the diagnostics on the car to make sure there's nothing in there and uh, we get a, a report on that as well well we're just going to say we've got the books all in here in the glove box we come down here, we've got uh, cup holders down here. Just let me bring the camera around, or the phone. All nice and clean in there, as you can see. And then we've got the eight-speed ZF gearbox. So you come back into drive, go over to the left for sport, and you'll notice up here, it's gone into sport. If we pull the paddles, it goes into manual mode. Worth mentioning, when you've got the gearbox in normal, so I've just pushed it back over to the right, in normal comfort, on the drive mode and in the gearbox, if you pull the paddles, it'll go into manual mode, but it will, after a few seconds, default back into drive. So you can see it's in drive down there. However, if you put the car into sport and then pull the paddles, or you have the gearbox in sport, you will be in manual mode and it won't come out unless you flip, oh, let's come back out, flip the gearbox over to the right, or if you've got it in sport down here, flip it over to the left, then back to the right, and that'll put you back in automatic, because you've got sport automatic as well. I'll show you that. So S1 is in sport automatic. We can go through that a bit more later. And then we've got the drive modes. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Down here eco through to sport we come up onto the top here probably the easiest way this will um ah oh, this is turned off in the settings which is always annoying when you're halfway through a video and then you realize this so i need to now work out where that is because i've forgotten but i will find it uh where is it it's not in there, is it in here? Drive mode, drive to sport. Right, there's a setting in here and I will find it. I'll tr if it's taking me too long, we'll come out. Uh, that's not, sorry, wrong one. I drive settings. Ah, oh, I think it might be under displays actually. Control display. cluster okay it's in here somewhere but we'll uh, 
We'll find it in just a second. The notifications pop-ups. There it is, it's in pop-ups. Right, we've now turned that on. Right, so when I press the button down here, that's the window we were looking for. Okay, so Eco Pro Mode. So what this does is it puts the computer of the car into a leaner burning mode and you'll get better fuel economy. And also down on the dash here, you'll notice this, this bottom part of the screen's changed. And in the center here, it will show you in blue how many more miles you're gonna get through driving in that setting. Come back up onto the top here. If you go to configure sport, down at the bottom, you'll see just down here, it's at 92%. If we turn some of these settings off, you'll see it's dropped to 60%. So we'll put the limiter back on. We've set a speed which is gonna give us, in fact, if we reduce that speed down to 65, because we had 92% a minute ago, put climate on Eco Pro and coasting. So coasting um, allows the car to roll on rather than have engine braking when you come off the throttle. So if you come off the throttle a bit earlier when you're coming up to a junction, the car will coast more and you'll see that our efficiency has gone up to 95%. So we're gonna get better fuel economy. So that's pretty much what Eco Pro will do. If you go into comfort, this is a more, as it says, balance setting in between, so throttle response, etc. And then if we go into sport, it's more responsive on the throttle. I think the steering sort of firms up a little bit and uh, we can have sport displays. And uh, this section here will say that the drive chain and the chassis will change. But this dark car isn't fitted with adaptive M Sport suspension, so it won't change the ride of the car. It's one of those things in BMWs where you think you've got something that's gonna change something and it won't. So it won't change the actual suspension. It will change the throttle response on the, on the ECU, etc. Okay, I think we've pretty much covered most things. Oh, just worth mentioning also, we've got speed limiter and cruise control. So speed limiter, you can adjust with the rocker button just there. And you can set a speed that you don't want to go over. Or if we turn that off, the cruise control, and then we can set cruise control when we're driving. And then we've got voice control over here as well. I'll just show you just in here, we've got an auxiliary USB cable in there. That will charge your phone. However, if you get a USB and pop it in here, this is a blank that's not been smoked in. If you put one of those USB chargers in there, like a, looks like a thing with a little slot on the top, and then plug your cable into there, that will charge faster. There's also another 12 volt socket up underneath the glove box. Okay, I think we've covered everything in here. Oh, we've got the remainder of connective drive by looks of it on here. We've got a few apps in here. This is a subscription based part of the iDrive unit, but it's got the remainder of uh, the subscription in there. It'll give you uh, weather maps and Flickr and various different um, things in there. If I play that, sorry, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. We can show rainfall if there's any. What's going on now? Oh, there's no rain, so that's good. Clouds. There we go, it's a bit overcast. And uh, you can also get. Sometimes you get the yeah you can get the news on here as well, so the news headlines will come up. It's just loading up now. This car doesn't have Apple CarPlay on it, but we have a, a local company that can do that if you wanted Apple CarPlay put onto the car, so you can link your phone up, and uh, it will mirror your phone on the screen here, so you can use Waze if you're used to using that, or your apps and your music. So lots of functions in the car. I think what we'll do now, I'm gonna jump out 
and uh, take a look under the bonnet. I better take the car out of gear. Oh, parking sensors. So we have the display that shows you all around the car there for your parking sensors. Turn that off. Two pulls to release the bonnet. And then basically you can just lift the bonnet. Okay. See if the camera will settle down. It's so bright in here and it's all white. I'm just gonna come in close because it's a lot easier for me to see than for you to see on camera, but this is just as shiny under here. As it is on the outside. It is so clean this engine bay. Let's try and zoom out. Now this has got the twin powered turbo. And what that essentially means is this has got a twin scroll turbo. So on the turbo inlet, rather than have one large opening it has two which allows the airflow from the cylinders um, it's all done with specific timing as well but it sort of breaks up the airflow and allows the airflow to travel faster what that does is it cuts down on lag so there's there's very little lag on these engines with these turbos they're very responsive it makes it more fuel efficient and uh, you get better power as well. And I can't remember what the brake horsepower is. I've got a feeling it's 250 something, or 254. You can also have them uh, generically remapped, and I think they go up to about 270 or 280 brake horsepower. But beautifully clean under there. There we go. When you drop the bonnet, bring it down so far and then just push from there. Don't sort of close it down and then put your hand and push down because that's how you get dents on the front of your bonnet. Okay, well, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I've just realized how long I've been talking for, but this is a really lovely car. So thanks uh, for watching. We've got various different finance options and extended warranties that you can take out that allow you to go back to the manufacturer for any work that you may require. Give us a call, we'd be happy to help. Take care, bye.